Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Super Wrestling Federation's Saturday Night Power Slam. Spreading her wings, soaring into superstardom, the master of the sky, Dragonfly, makes her way down the aisle. One of the fastest rising stars in the SWF galaxy, beloved by the fans. I cannot wait to see where she goes in her career here at the SWF. Let's see who she's facing tonight. Oh, is that who I think it is? Oh, man. She is in for a battle. The Wicked Jack Lantern is in action tonight. He's going to be taking on the Dragonfly. I get an eerie feeling when I see this guy. He's the human embodiment of Halloween. I would not want to be on his bad side. Referee Johnny Ovaki rings the bell. Here we go. Going for the distance. Close line but misses. Elbow to the nose instead. Connects. Uh-oh. Drop to hold there by Lantern. The Wicked Jack Lantern. The master of the sky dragonfly. A most interesting combination. I'm curious to see where this match goes. Oh, beautiful dropkick there by Jack Lantern, almost knocking the Dragonfly out of the ring. It's not common that he connects with that distance clothesline, but when he does, it feels like being decapitated, I hear. Oh, she blocked that one! She didn't even step aside. She put up both her hands and was able to block. Oh, uh, around the world she goes, look at this! Takes him down with a tilt of world head scissors. Jack Lantern has no idea where she is. She went for the rolling kick, they went for the distant clothesline. They both did not connect with their strikes. But they are both safe for at least a moment being attacked. The Dragonfly gets back into the ring, showing no fear. Jack Lantern gets out of the way. Oh, he eats an elbow though, but he pays back with that devastating lariat and a stomp to the lower back. Tries to kick to the stomach, goes for another discus clothesline, another. Oh, he finally connects. He's like a windmill out of control. Gets the one count there. Oh, look at that. What a kick there. And now going for the Boston Crab. He kicks out of the submission hold. These two completely different competitors. The only thing they have in common is that they're both wrestlers and that they both wear masks. Wait a second here. Oh, drops her on her head. That could have broken her neck. Jack Lantern has no consideration for his opponents, their health, or their well-being. My goodness. Jack Lantern is a mysterious man. If he's even a man, I don't know. The guy's human. He's terrifying. He's full of tricks, though, I'm sure. The only treat with Jack Lantern is if you're lucky enough to defeat him and lucky enough to survive at the end of the match. Jack Lantern is a human embodiment of the spirit of Halloween. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. You never know what to expect with this guy. You never know if he's going to attack you with a weapon. If he's going to put you in a submission hold. You never know if he's going to drop you on your head. Or if he's going to do cartwheels and do a back elbow to the face. Oh, clubbing to the back there. Oh, wait a second. Oh my gosh! My goodness, how does a human body bend like that without breaking a bone? Fighting back with slaps across the chest. The master of the sky stomps on the thigh. Is she going to climb the turnbuckle? No. I look like she was going to, but she may have changed her mind. May have decided at her own discretion that maybe now is not the time to jump from the top turnbuckle. Oh, Irish whip. She's in the corner. Oh, she moved out of the way. Jack Lantern didn't see her move. Oh, but he manages to get back in control with that jawbreaker stunner. Slamming her head, her jaw, onto his shoulder. Oh, club to the back. Down goes the dragonfly. Oh, strong Larry. It goes for the pin now. One, two, and... Only a two count. Sign of respect from the crowd in attendance with a round of applause. I don't know if it's for Jack, if it's for dragonfly, or if it's just for the great performance from both incredible athletes. These two homegrown talents of the SWF. Beautiful rolling kick there by the Dragonfly. Are putting on an incredible performance tonight. It'll be interesting to see 
with the ongoing talent share that we've got with the other wrestling promotions. If they're going to be traveling to other promotions to go after their superstars, after their wrestlers, after their championships. This is the most interesting time in professional wrestling. It's happy, happy news for me to share that the SWF... Oh, look at that! She used that roll to get away from the flames! Beautiful tactic there! And now Florham strikes there by the Dragonfly! Oh, the Jawbreaker! Oh, he's in the corner. Dangerous territory. The Dragonfly kicks off his head. Jumping up the ropes and drop kick into the corner as he's in the seat, the seated position. These two work so well together. Uh-oh. Oh, devastating power bomb. Oh, 2.9. Deadly power bomb there by Wicked Jack Lantern. Oh, beautiful Russian leg sweep. If Jack Lanter can hit his finisher, the Scarecrow's Neckbreaker, I believe it's all over for the Master of the Sky Dragonfly. But if the Dragonfly can hit the Shooting Star Press, her finishing maneuver, it might be over for the Wicked One. Look at that, doing multiple rolling kicks. Oh, it finally connects with that one in the corner. Jack Lanter's got those spinning discs clotheslines. She's got the rolling kicks. They both hit them as often as they can because they know that if they connect, it does incredible damage to their opponents. They may miss 80 times. But one strike, one connection, and that could end the match. Or it could turn the tide into their favor. Still pop a power bomb. Oh, 2.9. Jack Lantern so close. Wait a second, another pin. Oh, two count. Back and forth, these two are trying to get the win, trying to get the upper hand, trying to take absolute advantage of their placement in the ring. And, oh, beautiful splash there by Jack Lantern. He looks like he's starting to hit fatigue. Oh, beautiful rolling kick. Could it be time for a shooting star press? No. Oh, Jack Lantern slams her hard onto his knee. Her ribs have got to be bruised at this point in the match. Oh, Pele kick! The backflip kick to the head! Goes for the rolling kick, does not connect. Oh, but connects that time! Putting him into position. Is it time for a shooting star? No! No, it's not time for a shooting star press. Time for a rolling kick! Come on, go for it! Oh, she had great positioning. I wonder why she made the choice not to go for the shooting star press. Oh, got the rolling kick to the back of the head. Uh-oh, when she hits that taunt, normally it means the match is over soon. She might be going for the shooting star. Yes, shooting star press to the back of Jack Lantern. But she's not going for the pin. She picks him up, kick to the back, kick again. Down he goes, dragging him away from the ropes. Could be time for another shooting star. No, Jack Lantern back to his feet, circles her, eats a rolling kick, clapping, getting the crowd on her side, and shooting star press. But wait, too close to the ropes, it's a rope break. Oh my goodness, she had the right idea. Bad execution, but that's okay. The time is still going on. She still has a chance to get it back in control. But now Jack Lantern has a chance to turn the tides into his favor as he drags her away from the ropes. Oh, Bulldog drives his head right into the mat there. Oh man. Lantern picks her up. Strong clothesline takes her down. Standing, standing over her downed body. Rolling kick connects yet again. The Dragonfly is getting better connecting with that rolling kick on Jack Lantern. But can she connect this? Around the world she goes in. Tilt the world. Tilt the world head scissors. Uh oh. Oh, spits the fire but misses. Eats an elbow to the nose. The Dragonfly has got him in the camel clutch. He taps out. He couldn't take the pain anymore. The Dragonfly is victorious over the wicked Jack Lantern. What a match by the Dragonfly. She spread her wings, and tonight she flies into super stardom.